Big A, I'm writing a cover letter. It's pretty dog, I fear. Wouldn't worry too much about it. Cover letters are generally dog and they don't even get read half the time. And especially after <laughs> ChatGPT, pretty much all of them are fucking auto-generated. They're not a great differentiator anymore. Though the email that it's attached to, if you're sending an email, that matters. Make it succ succinct and precise and good. Yep, I do hiring and I've never read a cover letter. Yeah, they just don't get, they don't get read. Whenever I would have to hire, I don't think I read many of them <laughs> I have to be honest I, I think I'm being generous maybe when I first started I started reading some of them but like I, I didn't read too many of them they, they, you just look at the resume you try to see if someone's got a resume that, that sort of matches what you're looking for I do hiring and I didn't even hear about them until now I I have never seen one you work in hiring so you're like what HR recruiting and you've never seen or heard of, of a cover letter <laughs> how did you get the job <laughs> uh, I guess no one read your cover letter <laughs> You fucking applied for that job. You should have. You should know what they are, bro. It's not. You've never heard of it. That's crazy. You ever watch the interview videos interns do? It's awkward to watch. Sorry, what? Interview videos that interns do. What is this? I'm. This is not. I'm not something familiar. I'm not familiar with this. They make you record yourself. What is this? Video interview? I've, I've never seen this. This might be. This might be too new for me. It's maybe a post-pandemic thing. Explain it to me. What, what the fuck? What is it? <laughs> when you say video interviews, you don't mean like Zoom, right? You mean like recorded, like a, you're sending in a VOD. I've done Zoom interviews. I mean, that, that's fine. No, I mean like, so it's like an audition. Yeah. <laughs> it's like an audition. It's like, it's like you're sending in a tape. Okay. So walk me through it. So you give people questions and then they, does anyone have one? By God, does anyone have one they want to share? <laughs> I'd rather die. Fuck no. <laughs> Not anymore. I delete that shit fast. Is there is there like a TikTok of an example? Is there some kind of example? I would love to see. I, I, I'm i trying to give me an example question that you would have to. Here's, all, here's my guess, right? They give you a list of things to answer and they say record a video of you answering them. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Doing a video interview that you only get one chance to get right. Accidentally started recording too early. So it's just like in a prompt. Oh, this is so weird. It's in browser and you get like, <laughs> you know, what's funny is like, this is almost like semi borderline. It's not illegal, but it's like, the reason they want this is, is very borderline illegal, right? Cause what they're really trying to do is get answers to all the questions they can't ask you, which is age, race, uh, height, appearance, all of those things they can't ask on a job, gender. And now they get it all because they asked you a video interview question. And so that's fucked up. So they can have someone who's recruiting just snap image you based on appearance rather than other things. And then second thing fucked up about this is that like, it's almost like laziness on the part of the recruiter who can't read. <laughs> This is double bad. I, I could already tell this. The reasons are not good okay. for this. So the question is the stupid, cheesiest question I've ever. <laughs> what is your impression of Sky West company culture? And how does that resonate with you? And I'm like, you have to record yourself saying it. So it's so awkward. <laughs> but anyway, so I was going to say, um, my impression of Sky West culture is based off of the mission statement that you guys have. By the way, what a fucking stupid question. What is your impression of SkyWest company culture? It's fucking, what a dog shit ass question, bro. Uh, there's no value in this. Wait, hold on. Let me say it. Hold on. Let me practice. <laughs> I'm going to set you down. Okay, so I was going to say. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't realize it was recording. I was practicing. So I was going to say. <laughs> She gave it her best. She gave it her best. Hire her already, Sky West. Jesus Christ, nobody cares about your fucking company culture. Hire her, she's trying. Sorry. <laughs> That's the last one, <laughs> sorry. That's too fucking funny. That's great. That's excellent. Yeah, I don't know, That that's terrible. Yeah, she was trying, she was studying for the job. Just fucking give her the job at this point, Jesus Christ. Anyway, so you guys have been doing these is what I'm, what, I, what I'm hearing. Typical questions of these interviews. Oh, let's see. Okay, 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 okay. These are the example questions on these type of interviews. Why do you want to work for bank name? Why do you want to work for a division? What do you think our bank does differently than other firms? Tell me about a time you had to make a very fast decision slash split second decision. Tell me about a time you used technology to make a decision. <laughs> Ooh, how do you follow the markets? 
Now here's a great question. Here's a great question. I've got the perfect YouTube channel for you. Actually, sir, if you don't already know about Marketing Monday, then I don't wanna work here, okay? Because I only work with the best, with the elite. That's an answer you could give. How to prepare for high review interviews. Practice talking into a camera. <laughs> this is why I've been streaming. You guys don't fucking get it. I've been streaming for three years so I can practice for a higher view interview. That's the whole fucking point. That way I'm quick on my feet. But I need chat there. Yeah, so next time I'm gonna bring you guys to the interview. I'm gonna just have chat overlaid on the screen while I'm... It would be funny to do one of these. What is like a public job with an online application that would have one of these and I could do it live? <laughs> and just see what happens. That'd be a funny fucking video. Target? I would, I would love to do that. Sky West? Ooh, let me apply for her job at Sky West. Oh my God, that'd be so funny. I did want to do a, I want to do that interview stream. Cause I still, I found this. Let's see what's it? I found this old, when I first learned how to interview people, when I started hiring at Twitch, I found this old training I took and I was going to use it in my notes and interview chatters <laughs> and tell them what they're doing wrong. I think that'd be really funny. You said that on her table? Yeah, I saved that. I put it out here because I, I had found it in all my old notes and I was like, wait, this would be super funny. I feel people would just fuck around. That's yeah, funny too, right? I mean, what am I hiring them for? Make chat do live coding interviews. Okay, but what qualifies me to judge their coding interview when I can't code? Chat GPT. <laughs> Your rich confidence. <laughs> Average fucking middle manager in a tech company. I can judge this. Wait, I don't need to know how to code. I can hire engineers because I'm confident and I have money. ChatGPT is goaded at coding questions. ChatGPT is goaded at a lot of like things that used to filter people in real life. And now those filters no longer exist because every single person has access to ChatGPT, which is probably leading to a lot of bad hires because those little, little detail skills that would elevate people before no longer exist. Big A, any tips on becoming a personality hire because I have no skills? What do you think? I guess have good personality. Are you anywhere close to that? Have like an infectiously good personality that motivates and inspires those around you. Where do you think you fall on that scale? If he's an Atrioc chatter, it's over for them. Have a little faith. <laughs> have a little faith. Ask. <laughs> Has anyone got a job from one of those interviews? Does anyone have an example of they, they like did one of those online submit a video interviews and it worked? You think you did a good job on? Do you think they even watched it? I did one. I almost got an internship. What a way to phrase that, bro. You almost got an internship. So you didn't get an internship. <laughs> That's not what I was looking for, right? I said, did anyone use one of these to get a job? And you said, well, basically, I almost got an internship. They use them more for pre-screening. Yeah, that make, that scares me more. It, it just seems like so obviously a way to get around questions they can't ask. I don't know. I, I hear this a lot from people that send me DMs about hiring stuff. I think people are, are overly scared uh, when they see job wrecks. They think they're not, they don't fit every detail on there, so they shouldn't apply. And that's just not true. Uh, I think you'd be shocked if you were looking at the actual applicants on the other side. If you want the job, if you feel like you're even remote, if you think you could do it. I mean, don't like apply for CEO of Google. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If it's a job you think you are capable of excelling at, then don't feel afraid to apply. My job is expanding and we are mass hiring. Get free food and healthcare. What's your job? Chat, free job from Coda Bear 82388 What's your job? Free food, free healthcare. It's gonna say like military or be a criminal in jail. Inmate. <laughs> McDonald's? I don't think they give you free food at McDonald's, bro. Unless you're sneaking the fries. 